Are you listening? Welcome back to the Nerf Report. Good morning and happy Wednesday. And today, let's talk about smart delivery. Which, no, it's not Domino's new feature where pizza just shows up whenever I get hungry without me, like, needing to order it. Which, side note, Domino's, I just made you a million dollars right there. Instead, it's one of the tentpole offerings for Xbox as they move into this next generation. Xbox Smart Delivery essentially states that if you were to buy a game once, let's say Madden on the Xbox One, and when you try to play it on the Xbox Series X, you will automatically get the optimized hardware boost that that game would have if you would have bought the game on the Xbox Series X initially, which really is a cool concept, but some developers don't seem to be, well, embracing it as much. For example, NBA 2K announced that the Xbox One versions of 2K would certainly run on the Xbox Series X. However, they were also developing a next-gen version of 2K that will outperform the previous-gen version and also cost you $70. And just last week, Remedy Entertainment stated that owners who had a copy of Control Ultimate Edition would be the only ones to receive a free next-gen upgrade to the game. And even Cyberpunk 2077 admitted that Xbox One owners can definitely run their game on the Xbox Series X. However, they still have plans on developing a next-gen focused version of that game. Which kind of just puts a nail in the whole, you know, smart delivery concept. Like, if a game can run on a console, that's fine. But if a next-gen remastered version is going to launch later and that's going to outperform my previous version... What's the point of smart delivery? Now, since all of this has transpired, Xbox has stated that all first-party Xbox video games like Sea of Thieves, Halo Infinite, or Hellblade 2 will feature smart delivery. However, as far as third-party developers or publishers go, the technology is certainly available. Whether they choose to use it, that is up to them. And in Microsoft's defense, you know, some third-party developers have committed to support smart delivery. Games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Call of the Sea, Destiny 2, Rainbow Six Siege, and Watchdog Legions will all support smart delivery. And let's be extremely clear, smart delivery is a very good thing for gamers. If a gamer only has to buy a game once and can immediately enjoy the benefits of the next-gen hardware without having to buy a remastered edition, that's awesome. However, judging by the industry's track record, where every two months we have a remastered game releasing, if the smart delivery technology isn't embraced universally, well, what's the point? Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. Are you like the thousands of people in the comment section down below wondering why does this channel have so little subscribers? Well, you can fix that today by subscribing to the channel, liking the video, commenting, and sharing it with your friends, which I know sounds like a lot, but I feel like our channel's worth it. Thank you.